So why don't you just tell us who you are and what you do? So, wow, that's a very loaded question. So um, <laughs> I'm a gamer, streamer, and a journalist covering tech and gaming in the Middle East. I love it. That is cool. Is it is it fun being a journalist? In the tech world, yeah. Yeah. Um, humble brag, it's nice to get to see things before anyone else gets to see them. Mm. I feel like that's like one of the most enjoyable oh, parts of it. Yeah. So you're one of those really good journalists where people <laughs> send you stuff <laughs> before it even comes out or gets announced. And the scary part is, you, yeah, you have to be on time with these things. You can't release them too early. So it's also a scary part of the job as well. Oh, wow. Okay, so you have to like keep it a secret. Yeah, you've got this it, new you're itching to tell your friend about this new cool thing in this new game that you want to tell people about but you just can't you have but to it's wait like an oh, it's one of those things right it's yeah. like embargoes and ndas yeah. and all do you that, get right? to keep all the stuff they give you uh not all of them oh. unfortunately what's i the, mean what's that i wish thing? i wish i could have kept an 85 inch tv Oh, but no, give you that. Oh. no, I mean, the TV is worth 17,000 dirhams. Oh, so, okay. I mean, I mean, can understand. Uh, I can Makes understandable. Sense. <laughs> what is the coolest thing you've ever been given and you've able to be to keep? Okay, so this was a very long time ago, and Acer obviously wanted to promote the new Triton line of laptops. Okay. And then they gave it, and we did like a video around it, and I really enjoyed the laptop, and I said, hey, I would highly recommend it. And. At the time, what I did not realize was they actually gave most of specific people laptops that were catered around them. Okay. And then they told me, hey, by the way, that laptop is personalized for you. So we really can't take that back for anymore. So that's for you now. No way. And I, it, was, it was such a very, very cool feeling to have a uh, gaming laptop. And yeah. I was reviewing it with the intention of obviously giving it back. And mm -hmm. we declare it usually when we get to keep things. But... The reason why I love this laptop so much, it was the first 980 laptop I had, like in the market okay. that I had in my yeah. hands. And the fact that also it was one of the last few laptops. Remember when laptops had disk drives? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So this laptop, the cool thing about this back then was you could slot it between a drive okay. and a cooling unit. Ah. It had its own cooling unit. So the laptop never heated up yeah. that much. So that was one of the best things I got. That's no, modular. Yeah. 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 That is pretty cool. I I mean, obviously, I've worked on the radio for quite a while. I did get a pair of shoes once from Adidas. Wow. I was pretty that happy with cool. that. But I think your laptop kind of trumps that. To be fair, I would, you know why I would actually like shoes, to be fair? I have size 50 feet. Size 50? Yeah. That's U that's US 13, I believe. What? So to find I think shoes. I 41. <laughs> to find, so to find shoes here. Not easy for me. Uh, That's true. Oh, okay, yeah. so so a nice pe pair of free Adidas shoes would have come in handy. Size yeah. 50, huh? <laughs> there you nice. go. I've got a question for you, Kevin. Sure. What's been the most exciting uh, piece of news or journalism that you, you've covered? Believe it or not, I think the Apple Store launching in the, the first Apple Store launching in Dubai was ah, like the highlight of it because that's cool. The amount of secrecy and the amount of paperwork, first of all, was blew me away, and the second of all was <laughs> they actually. So when they do like app, when Apple does a media event, they make sure to like of course put on a show. Yeah, and the uh, energy when the person who went and bought his first the first person in the UAE purchased a U an iPhone, they will cheer him on like he's a wow. rock star. And they will be like, you purchased your first device. Like, this is your first iPhone. <laughs> yeah. You're the first one in the country. And these people wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and queue up at the mall at 5 a.m. I was going to say, were they not like camping from overnight? They, there were people camping wow. from overnight in the basement. They were waiting. To, like, and, and the stores know this. And like everyone's in the loop. And we come in at 8 o'clock in the morning. And journalists are taken to another direction. We get to see the store before everybody else. Ah, oh, nice. We get to see the devices before everybody else. And then we see from like from their vantage point. Yeah. So when they started like putting us all in, then they said that they tell the media to go in the line as well. Yeah. So that you can also like take a video of you going through that line. But the experience. And the tunnel yeah. of the Genius Store employees just clapping and cheering you on. That's cool. And high-fiving you. Like, that energy was infectious. Yeah. And all I, I'm not even an, I, I'm an Android user all the way. Yeah, so, yeah. But to see that event and to see the way they put on a show over here, fantastic. I think that was the best experience. Wow, I've had. yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. That is pretty cool. <laughs> what, what was the second most then? Go on. <laughs> The second I'm, I'm excited most, now. Okay. Apple second store. Yeah. <laughs> the, the second one was a gaming event, actually. Okay. Um, undoubtedly, when we uh, were taken, again, this is back then, this is six years ago, uh, 
this new game from Blizzard just came out and it was called Overwatch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And again, like we only heard whispers of it and yeah. and then suddenly then you get an email from Blizzard saying, "Hey, by the way, you're invited for this thing." Wow, that's cool. And then uh Warehouse 4 here, which is uh Warehouse and Alcoos, uh which has a lot of the gaming events and then we come there and then they tell us, "Hey, by the way, you're the first ones in the world to get to see this." Wow. In the world. That is and cool. And I'm like that that scale of how far you come in as a career yeah. when you you're literally the one of the first to experience a piece of media yeah is something else that is cool and yeah. that then becomes the norm and when you start telling people about this they become obviously envious and they're yeah. like you have no idea how like how we jealous of you you get to see things before anybody else and stuff like that. but at the end of the day it's a job you know yeah yeah that's the whole point of it you educate people on whether or not they should spend their money on something or the mm. other cool couple of quick fire questions for you yes uh who have you written for Golf News, College Times, IGN, PC Magazine, um, and a few tech portals here in the Middle East. Very cool. Favorite game ever? Skyrim. Ooh! Favorite yeah. game that you're looking forward to that's coming out? Starfield. Ooh! Hey, ooh. I'm an RPG guy through and through. All right, I like it. He's a Bethesda guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kevin, so you are obviously uh, the big man with all the tech. Um, new graphics cards. What, what can you tell us? They they look they look pretty insane. They, they, look, huge. they, they look enormous <laughs> as well. But I'm also quite excited to to hear about them. So as you know, Nvidia launched a new line of the RTX line, which is the 40 series cards. Yes. Uh, first of all, what I can safely say with complete certainty is they don't fit your PC anymore. I was gonna say, <laughs> have you seen have you seen them physically? Uh, I haven't. No. Uh, I will. I will be seeing them very, very soon. Yeah. I can tell you that much. Um, but the RTX forty ninety is as big in terms of height as an Xbox Series S. Are you joking? No. I've seen them and they, so, they do look giant. But the, so everyone needs a new PC, PC case, case, basically. Not just a PC oh. case. You need a new power supply as well mm. because these are thousand watt cards. Yeah. There's like four cables coming out of them just for the power, yeah. right? Yeah. So fun story today. This broke out like literally like while I was coming here on the way to like talk to you guys. The RTX 4090 Ti is in testing because you know they have the Ti version of cards, which is like the more yeah. powerful edition. Mm. And apparently, that's so powerful to the fact that they're melting themselves wow. from the heat alone of oh how much power it's generating. <laughs> so, uh, PC gaming is now going to get in a. It's in a very weird spot because you know with the whole cryptocurrency mining thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a PC was more expensive than a Mac at one point, which is yeah, kind yeah. of insane, you know, because generally people were like, "Yeah, why? Let's buy a PC." At half the cost, and then you get a good editing video, video production machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then Apple t- worked out to be cheaper, which is kind of mm, scary times we live in. Yeah, it's insane. Until yeah. obviously cryptocurrency wasn't a thing. Yeah. For yeah. now, uh, mining specifically. Yeah, I mean, yeah. May, let me choose my words carefully. <laughs> J- just to give a bit of history, yeah. the, the price of Bitcoin and all that went so low yeah. that people mining were spending more on power to power the Absolutely. graphics cards than they were actually getting in profit from mining Bitcoin. Yeah. yeah. So much so that you could find used ma- use graphic cards on mm. the market right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, one company actually they had um, they decided to basically go. All EVGA. Right, we're not making that yeah, money. EVGA. Yeah, EVGA. Yeah, that they, was EVGA basically. They uh, they sold like forty million dollars worth of graphics cards. Yeah, which is crazy. And it's sixty percent of their business. Which to say that that they're making such a decision to leave the market. Yeah, yeah. They are pretty much adamant to say that we don't want to work with Nvidia. Mm. Mm. Now. Uh, politics, politics aside, the fact let let's talk about what's the benefit of doing this, right? They have a technology called DLSS 3.0, yes. which is an AI-based program which allows you to get higher frames without sacrificing. Which makes Cyberpunk look insanely. Yeah, good. Cyberpunk looks <laughs> yeah. like butter. Like yeah. honestly, Ooh. like. 4K 120 hertz. I want to watch. I've only been playing Cyberpunk on my PlayStation 4. I started on PlayStation 5. Yeah, I feel really sad. Didn't so it? right. it's, st- it's still glitching, by the way, in PlayStation 4. <laughs> they haven't fixed it. <laughs> no, and they're announcing a new Cyberpunk game as well, oh, no. which is insane. But Nvidia. So here's the thing. Here's where I stand on it. Right. Um, Nvidia saw themselves in a position where they're going to make a gaming card, but they thought they could bet on crypto. Mm. But obviously, it did not work out. So now they have an issue where. They have to get rid of the 30 card, 30 series cards, which are flooded the market right now, mm-hmm. and sell the 40 series cards. Mm-hmm. And therein lies the problem because they've priced them so high. Yeah, they are very expensive. I don't know UAE pricing just yet because they just launched today, in like most retail yeah. stores. And here's the thing, though, right? It is the Lamborghini of gra- of graphics. 
you don't need to spend so much money on getting you can get a decent one with a 3080 or 3070 you just got a 3080 didn't you i yeah. did yeah how much did you yeah. pay for it about three three k yeah. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Yeah. For yeah. 3080. But a 4090 yeah. is easily going to be 7, 8. You yeah. see? Mm -hmm. So, the idea is that if price is not your problem, yeah. if you don't, if money is not a problem anymore, <laughs> not even a consideration, get it. Because, mm -hmm. and also get a very powerful, big case. Well, I'm sorry, but here's my thing, right? So you said, yeah. you're obviously going to need to get a bigger case. Yes. You're going to need to get a, a bigger power supply. But surely most people are gonna need to get new RAM to be able to keep up Will with. Will it affect the design of the graphic motherboard, the graphics card, the CPU might yeah. even be to mm -hmm. be upgraded. So You're gonna need to rebuild your whole PC basically if you want to buy this new. That's the thing, though, right? And that's the problem because these cards are massive chonkers, mm. right? And they're like massive bricks you're putting into your system. And again, one tiny thing where if the heat is the heat dissipation is wrong, you're gonna mess up. Yeah. You're gonna lose your entire PC as yeah, a result, yeah. right? So my advice is for people who have 30 series cards, be happy with them. You're good for another three, four years at mm, least. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, if you want to upgrade, great. But then at the end of the day, make sure that you, the thing can fit your computer, first of all. Yeah. That, that's my take on it. But in terms of performance, my goodness, mind-blowing benchmarks. Yeah. Mm. You don't have to worry about gaming for at least another six, seven years. I mean, they said three times as powerful, right? As yeah. the, the one up yeah. or the one below, Yeah. which is pretty insane. But all I want to do is wait a little bit yep. and then I'm just going to try and buy like a 3080 yeah. for like cheaper because I and assume the prices are going to keep going down for those. That is yeah. totally acceptable because a 3080 is still a great card. Yeah, I mean, the the biggest gamers in the world with the best rigs, they're going like what, 3090 or 3090 Ti or something like yeah, that. Yeah, not even. Look at Steam. Steam actually has like a survey. You can actually look this up. It's public information. Mm. When they say how many people, what are the majority of people using their cards? 1650. Wow. Yeah, I saw people that. Are, yeah. People tend to realize that people around the world don't have great power systems yeah. to power their PCs. I'm on a 1070 Ti. Which is also, like I said, a decent card. Okay. But it's, if you still, want, it's still going strong. Yeah, if you want an RTX card, a 3070 is good enough as well. Yeah. And even a 30, see, the fact that you're getting a 3080, even better. I'm going to steal James's 3080. <laughs> no. Uh, have you told your it. wife how much that cost? Maybe that's a secret. <laughs> she's going to listen to this. <laughs> Find out how much I spent on it. Yeah, we don't tell our partners how much we spent on no. our PCs, no. I I, I mean, uh, James actually built my PC for me. What was it now? Like four or five years yeah, ago? I did. Yeah. So yeah. I do need an upgrade. And that was kind of like, not budget. I think I spent about 6,000 dirhams on it in total. This was 2,000... 2,000? 2000 what do you mean oh, the days oh, sorry uh, 2020 wow no it was longer <laughs> longer uh, i think it was like 2018 actually 18. it was like yeah. at least i think it was like four years ago. i remember the Not days the computers cost 6000 dirhams that was fun yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. no exactly <laughs> but uh -huh. now i really need to upgrade but yeah. i did put all the components in with like a 3080 and a ryzen one of the new ryzen ones and it was getting to like 8000 yeah and I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. And that's a good price if you get it at that. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you might it'd be amazing. You might be spending upwards of 10 to 11 yeah. sometimes. But what I mean is 8,000 is more than my wife would let me spend. I mean, yeah. you don't need, what they don't know won't hurt them. That's true. <laughs> I just, oh, if, I just, if I just like just replace it without her knowing she might not even notice i've got a new pc yeah unless she doesn't uh, pay that much attention unless to of me. course you want to go on a holiday and then you say like oh i you know we can we can save up for next year Ooh, <laughs> i had to uh repair the car the engine fell out Hell. had to get a new one of them <laughs> oh dear okay cool well thank you for the roundup of that appreciate it. Uh, is thank there you. anything new like in tech that uh that we can that, you know you have that you're excited about is there something coming yeah so i can actually talk about this because the the embargo is just lifted so get Ooh. easy to talk about it nice uh steel series has a new headphone the okay. nova arctis pro and i and i don't and i don't say this lightly it is by far one of the best gaming headsets i've used mm. like mm. period and wow. the only other headphone like I, I interview a lot of headphones and they're all good but like there are those which i actually switch for my daily use the, yeah the previous one was the astro uh a40 headphones which will mm. have like these really nice cushion ones yeah and they're modular as well so you can like swap out if they get damaged yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and they're wireless and stuff the steel series has a similar functionality but what they do have is that you can connect it to a second computer okay or a, or a console as oh, well okay so you can get two audio inputs that's quite yeah. cool on that that's small cool. little DAC that they yeah, have yeah yeah so and then I wore it and then like obviously the amp is also there 
and the noise cancelling is phenomenal wow like the other one that comes close to that is the Sony's which mm-hmm. the Sony new headphones that have yeah. come out as well yeah, yeah, yeah. the gaming ones and even those they are also good but the but the steel series for me gets the edge mainly on price how how much are you talking uh 899 899 dirhams yes Wow, that's, that's actually right. pretty decent. So this yeah, is a top yeah, line. Yeah. This is a top no, end. Yeah. This is a streamer headphone. I think. Sure. I, I mean, I'm wearing V Moda headphones. Yeah. I think they cost probably double that. Yeah. yeah. So the idea is that they obviously know who their market is. Yeah. yeah like yeah. they make headphones for a lot these, of people. These are actually like de- so. I'm a yeah. DJ and stuff. These are DJ headphones. Correct. Uh, you know, they go quite loud, nice and bassy kind of thing. So they're yeah. not necessarily gamer headphones. Yeah, but they're also um, audiophiles who are gamers as well. Like, like yeah, they yeah. want to have like something gaming specific that they can hear audio in. No, and sure. um, on top of that, like gaming audio, the audio business for gaming has become such a thing. Mm. So much so that sure, sure, the audio yeah, company yeah, yeah. are making gaming microphones as well. Yeah, mm. yeah, they're doing the, really well. The one that I'm using now, and I think every other streamer is using them. Right yeah, now, every major podcaster is using them. The MV7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The MV7 for me, which I recently switched to as well, uh, from the HyperX. Mm. Both great products. Yeah, right? yeah. Funny enough, uh, because it's XLR. And yeah, you as yeah. a musician know that XLR is obviously like superior audio quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much so that HyperX, the gaming brand, is now making XLR microphones as well. Mm. Nice. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you get yeah. RGB and XLR. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, because I'm, I'm an audio guy. So yeah. I have a, my my gaming mic is a Rode NT1A. There you go. And I have a really <laughs> nice interface. Quality. I have like a universal audio uh, <laughs> interface. <laughs> so whenever I play Valorant or, Le- or you know, Absolute so, uh, crisp audio. people are like, sound amazing. like, <laughs> You know, oh my God, you, don't, you, don't, you don't sound like I'm a like, child yeah. in, a, in a cord lobby. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I sound like, even when I go on Zoom calls for like business stuff, they're like, wow, your mic sounds amazing. I'm like, thank you very much. Yeah, it's, it's a, <laughs> it is being held together by tape, though, to be honest. But that's, the, that's, uh, just, that's just a testament to road, though. That is true, yeah. 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 No, I mean, the, the, the microphone is fine, but you know the casing that it comes in? It's like the spider mount, yeah. the, the shock mount. Yeah. Um, that's broken, so I have to tape that together. But apart from that, it works. It works perfectly. Yeah, but I'm glad that we're now in the stage where gamers are just not like RGB everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. they are actually looking at actual great audio products to yeah. like listen to and the, some microphones that they can use yeah. as well. So that's nice. Uh, yeah. j- just going back to Steel Series as well. I gotta yeah. be honest, I did get uh, a little bit pulled into Steel Series from from some advertising. Um, I think it was um, I want to say Tens, who is a Valorant player. Yeah, one of the one of the best in the world. Um, he ha- brought out a Steel Series uh, mouse. Yes, and he sold like millions of these. Yep. Anyway, I really want it, and, <laughs> uh, and and just Steel Series in general. I went and looked in uh, in um, one of the malls uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it was like eight hundred dirhams or something. And I was like to my wife, I was like, Oh, I gotta, I gotta get this mouse like Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a mouse, but it looks so cool. And the one I'm using right now, so is, the one that he's is, is using, uh, it's the esports. It's a Sensei mouse, actually. It's like They've built these my they like they get esports players to consult yeah. them on the design. Mm-mm. So much so that when they when you group when you hold it, when you grip the thing, it actually flows with the natural movement of a FPS player. Yeah. Like I wouldn't use this mouse they, for anything. They help else. them with the weight, the balancing, Absolutely. the speed, everything, don't they? Yeah, yeah. and they're surprisingly light. Mm-hmm. So now if you're gonna oh, they're, they're like a feather. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna start seeing more of these mice actually in the market because a lot of people are playing Valorant right now. Yeah, yeah. And like other shooters as well, like Call of Duty is coming up as well. So more and more gaming mice are now catering towards that direction. Mm. Um ultimately for me, because I play a lot of games. I, I'd rather have a mouse with like multiple functionalities and that's like a thing. Logitech. There you go. I, I also like those, Generally. by the way. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, but they're pretty well rounded. Logitech are well rounded yeah. mouse. Uh, like Razer, see, the thing is, like, again, it depends on, for me, like all the brands work for a very specific purpose, you know? Yeah, Shroud actually teamed up with them because he plays yeah. a lot of games. So now you're, yeah. you're sp- hey. we are spoiled for choice <laughs> for all the products we have. We have Razer, yeah. Logitech, uh, Asus have started making mm-hmm. hardware as well. Like the recent mice, which I reviewed as well, the Asus Tough mouse. Mm-hmm. Um, that mouse. So I started actually. I I was streaming the other day, and I was playing Overwatch, and obviously uh, I was told, "Hey, talk about this new mouse." Mm-hmm. So I played it. My my aim actually, and this is not like me selling <laughs> the mouse. My aim genuinely went up fifty yeah, percent. Yeah. And I was blown away and I'm like, guys, I am not promoting this product in any way. I am not paid for sponsorship. I am not yeah. sponsored yeah, in yeah. any way. I don't know what happened. 
only the fact was the mouse was so light because I'm I play with a heavy with a heavy mouse yeah yeah because of my hands and I'm used to like you know pretty really? much stressing yeah, the yeah. mouse out this one really blew my mind so and I'm like wow okay clearly lightweight mouse mm. are like the idea of me using I'm I think I'm using a crutch. And handicapping yeah, yeah. myself by using no, heavier sure. mice as well. You don't even realize sometimes, do you? Yeah, no, not even. I have I have the weighted one, Logitech. Mm. So you you put in the weights. Yeah. And distribute the weights. Mm. Yeah. But maybe I should just take them out and see if it's like. <laughs> <any> <laughs> no, easier. like if you know how much. So the thing is, we we put sensitivity. Yeah. We increase our sensitivity and we weight the mouse. Yeah. Like I think I genuinely think we're handicapping ourselves. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't know if mice can solve bad ping. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> There's like the frame rates and everything. No, no. But oh, yeah, ultimately, I, I I do think that you know um, a lot of young players yeah are going to get into this. They're much more smarter. Mm-hmm. People are watching stuff. Yeah, they're yeah. more educated. So I'm. It's a very exciting time to be a gamer. To be fair, agreed. I love it, Kevin. You've been absolutely wonderful today. Thank you for having me. Again. I have learned so much. Yes. And uh, definitely cannot wait to have you back on the podcast again sometime soon, yeah? Appreciate that. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah.